is uh, number 13. It says calculate the energy in joules per photon of the light that is emitted or absorbed in the following electronic transition in the helium ion. And uh, here we have helium plus. Uh, and now we're moving from n equals 5 to n equals 4. So n equals 5 will be my n initial. n equals 4 will be my n final. And uh, otherwise, we're going to use the exact same equation. So let me write that same equation for you. E equals minus 2.18 times 10 to the minus 18 joules times z squared times 1 over n final squared minus 1 over n initial squared. So it's the same equation. And this time, we have a couple things that are different. One is, we're now talking about helium. And for helium, Z equals 2. Okay. And here's where I want to bring up the fact that this equation works for any one electron system. This equation works for any one electron system. And what I mean by that is, so it can be a helium atom. It can be a helium plus ion. Because if we remember a helium atom, good old position two on the periodic table, a helium atom has two protons and atoms have the same number of protons and electrons, so it has two electrons. If it becomes a plus one ion, it becomes a plus one ion by losing one electron. And so yes, helium plus has one electron. And other examples you can see, including on the homework, would be the lithium two plus ion. And I think that's the last one, but you may see the beryllium three plus ion. And the only thing that's different for all these is that uh, Z changes. So Z equals one for helium, for sorry, for hydrogen. Z equals two, and then Z equals three for lithium and Z equals four for beryllium. And of course you can go farther, but it gets harder and harder to remove all the electrons. So we typically stop there. All right, but otherwise, the only thing that happens differently, so now we have Z equals two for this one. We know how to plug these in for N initial and N final. Uh, we're moving from five to four, so we're moving closer to the nucleus. As you move closer to the nucleus, you will have a negative energy because energy will be emitted and you're moving from a higher to a lower energy position. All right, so now to actually plug in. Uh, now that's a two because it doesn't have the little Z in the middle, the little line. And our N final, excuse me, is four. And our N initial is five, and we square those. And now using our calculator, so four squared button, shift one over X button, minus five squared one over X, I get 0 0.22, 0 0.0225 times two squared or four times 2.18 negative, exponent 18 negative, 
and I get 1.96 times 10 to the minus 19. Joules per photon. And this is just a scribble out over there. And we could use joule. This one specifically says joules per photon, but we could also use joules per electron, although we'll probably see that in the next lecture outline. Um, and uh, by the way that I got my answers in here, I apologize. That E is related to the fact that it's an exponential number. So please try and ignore that E. It's, not, it's easy to ignore because it's not the right answer anyway this time. And the right answer is right there. Um, so Manal, can I please see question 11? Yes, in just a minute. Let me ask you if there are any questions about this problem. No? Okay. 